Welcome to another open source ecology video on generating G code for your D3D universal pin plotter. Uh, today we're going to go over Hershey text. Um, Hershey text is great when you are trying to make uh, text kind of like writing with your uh, pin plotter, um, like small bits of writing. If you need big kind of logo like writing, blocky writing, um, you're going to want to check out the other video in this series about outline text. So for this example, we're going to address a letter. Let's get started. So actually the first thing I'm going to do before I even get started here is um, I'm going to look up a uh, random address generator. Um, so that I have something to use uh, in this tutorial. Okay, so this, this is who, who we're going to address this envelope to. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is open up Inkscape from the graphics section because I am using Lynx OSE 2. We already have Inkscape available for us right there. And uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to want to open up my generic plotter template. Um, there is a video earlier in the series where we talk about how to get ourselves a template where, which can constrain our art to the boundaries with which our plotter can plot. Alright, so here we are. We're in. Now I can tell you already, you know, you're going to put your envelope here at the bottom and it's going to kind of, um, it's going to be a little bit wider than the D3D. And so in order to get it in the center, we're basically going to target this area over here. Okay, so there's actually, um, we're going to talk about the way that is default in Inkscape first. So that way involves the following. We go up to Extensions, Render, Hershey Text. Alright, and so the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a name. I'm going to choose Jane Doe. Alright, and we can even do a live preview. So it does a script like that um, because it's set to script medium. If I want to do more of a text looking, I can do that. Um, this is what astrology looks like. Um, this is what meteorology looks like. And I kind of like meteorology personally, even though. Well, I mean, we're addressing a letter. Maybe we kind of want this script. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the script. And we're going to apply. All right. And we can move. And we're going to want to put it about here for now. Okay. And then we do the next line. And so we go and we grab our... We're just going to grab the first line here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there's that. And then we can grab the next line. And we click apply again. Alright. And now we don't really need this anymore, so we just put here. And, and what I'm going to want to do is I want to use. So you can pull up this menu with Shift Control A. You can also, I believe, pull up this menu with, let's see, where else can you pull up this menu? I can't quite remember, but you can do it with the uh, Shift-Control-A. <laughs> Alright, and so I'm going to want, I want to align it on the right. And I also want to distribute, um, you can distribute bottom edges. You know, so that's kind of cool. But I actually kind of want them closer. So let's just kind of try that. I'm going to move things a little closer. Oops. I'm going to move things a little closer to each other. And just hope that... Oops. Not that close. Mm -mm. Alright. Right. So it's about here. It's about here that I want think. I'm kind of looking at it. I guess. Let's do this again. Um, yeah, that's cool. 
I kind of like it uh, top line better. So that's our text. Um, we save as G code, save as SVG. I'm going to save this in my Hershey Checks folder and it's going to be like address. Oops. Um, actually, I'll save it in here. Address a letter 2. Alright. And um, these are the G code plot settings, which I should probably go over pretty soon in another video. Uh, probably the card will be that way. <laughs> All right, but for now we're just gonna click OK, and we're gonna check it out in NC Viewer, ncviewer.com. All right, we open up. We saved it in Hershey Text. No, we didn't. We saved it in Address a Letter. It was Example Two. This is what we just made. And here you can see it. pretty neat. And if I press play, you'll see that it draws things in reverse, but it's still drawing it kind of like you would expect as far as um, tracing the line of text. So that is working with Hershey text. Oh wait! There's more. Okay, there is another thing that I want to show you, but it does involve at this time downloading an extension. Um, and it involves downloading the AxiDraw extension. I believe, right? AxiDraw, or is it... No, it's actually KM Laser. Um, so this is another KM Laser tool. So if I take and let's say that I didn't like that interface that I had before, which, to tell you the truth, I didn't love it, you know. Um, so I can instead do kind of like this. I take my regular text and um, add my Jane Doe at the top. Oopsie doopsie. Jane Doe. Alright. Um, so that's my Jane Doe. Be a little bit smaller. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that KM Laser plugin and I can convert it to Hershey Text. Now I'm not going to be able to have that same font, but um, I can choose among these fonts. Um, there's Osmotron. Let's see what that's like. That's very interesting. I'm going to apply that. And then I got to get rid of what I had before. So that would be this. So, ooh, cool. Osmotron, I like it. So I have my text here. And it was a little bit easier to work with, you know? Um, so that's why I showed it to you. And I would do the same thing. I would save as G code. So that's um, using stroke fonts.